Hello fellow crypto addicts, welcome to the fourth project analysis on the upcoming Polkadot parachain slot auctions and this time we're taking a closer look at Manta Network and stay tuned for this one because this is possibly a banger. But before we start getting into the details, let me just quickly point out that this video is not financial advice and that you should always do your own research before investing into anything. And now without further ado, Let's look at Manta Network. So their sister project on Kusama was or is Calamari. They um, have already secured a parachain slot and they were actually quite successful in doing that because um, they currently hold the record with the most individual wallet addresses backing a single project. Um, but what does uh, Manta and Calamari do? They are in the field of privacy and DeFi. So Manta will offer um, a private decentralized exchange and through Manta and Calamari you will be able to make private payments and also you can privatize your digital assets which in my opinion is a very very strong um, use case, a very strong value proposal because um, in the field of blockchain um, privacy is one of the most important aspects and as you know on the blockchain everything is um, public and um, via the Manta network you'll be able to privatize your assets which is really really good in my opinion. Um, looking at how many grants they received, mm, unfortunately just one but one is better than none and there are 20 investors backing the project and among them are actually some big names so if you're interested in that check out which investors are backing Manta Network and Calamari but um, I conclude here that um, this is a positive sign for the project if they got those um, yeah, household names in the um, yeah, digital investment business backing their project. Um, if we're looking at the phenomics of the Manta token we see that Manta has a supply of 1 billion tokens and looking at the allocations we see that they are um, they were giving out 12% of that supply as rewards. Um, that's a bit less than the, I mean, that's the lowest number mm, that we have um, analyzed so far. Um, but I still think you can really, um, you re you're really going to get a good deal when backing Manta and why that is, we'll come to that in a second. Um, if we uh, look at the team allocation, that's 10%. That's totally fine. I think 10%, in my opinion, is like the perfect ratio you can have for your team. I think 5% as for us is a bit low and more than 20% as for Arcala is a bit high. 34% um, of their token supply is reserved for um, investors. And I have to note here that of those 34%, 8% are reserved for the Squid Game token allocation. So that means that everyone who has participated in the Calamari um, public loan offering um, will be able to buy, um, yeah, to participate in this pre-sale and get tokens here, and get the Manta token here. Um, so not all of that percentage um, will go to the big uh, institutional investors. Some of them also goes to common people like you and me. And this will not amount to too much selling pressure. Still, there could possibly be a lot of selling pressure after the token generation event of the Manta token. Um, but I have looked at the vesting schedules, uh, especially for the um, bigger investors. And in my opinion, the vesting schedules are fine. So if I recall it correctly, um, the big investors will not be able to sell more than 10 to 10 maximum 20 percent of their investment after immediately after token generation event so all in all the selling pressure will be there in my opinion but um, not um, that concentrated so to say um, if we're looking at the liquidity program they reserve 26 percent of their supply for that that's really a fine amount it's in the upper spectrum of that so that's fine and for research and development they reserved about a, another 18 percent of their circulating or of their total supply mm. which is also really fine so all in all the allocation of uh, manta is um, quite good and if we look at what 
uh, Manta rewards you can expect when contributing one dot to their project. Um, at the minimum, you will get four Mantas, um, and uh, maximum, or I expect that you will actually get around seven Manta tokens. So how do I come to this number? We again sw we again switch um, to this sheet here, and a quick shout out to the guy who pointed out that there was a mistake in the supply available in this um, calculation here. I referenced the uh, wrong cell, so very big thank you for pointing that out. I um, changed it now and now it should be correct. But if you find any other mistakes in my analysis, please feel free to tell me so that I can correct them. Okay, coming back to Manta, their hard cap is 30 million dots. That would be about 1.5. Um, billion US dollars, so 3% of the market cap of DOT and 8% of the supply available for the auction um, that need to be contributed to Manta um, so that they are able to reach their hard cap, mm, which I think, I mean, that is possible, but I don't think that they will reach their hard cap. And um, if we're looking at the sister project, how much did they raise? 95 million, they reach 72% of their hard cap. Uh, again, their um, crowd loan was quite successful, and that would be about 0.5% of all the dots uh, in, th in the supply available for the auction, um, which is possible. They will definitely raise more than that, because I, that's where the factor comes into play. So the dot to case M ratio is uh, about 13, um, uh, or it was at that when I calculated this. Um, and I deemed the factor to be multiply to multiply the funds they raise in the system project as 10 because I think they will be quite successful because actually you can expect um, rather high rewards when contributing them so that I expect them to raise about let's say 19 uh, to 20 million dots um, and that would amount at around 63 to 65 percent of their hard cap. That would mean that uh, about 1.9% of the dots and uh, of the market cap will be contributed to the um, to the crowd loan, and about 5% of the supply available for the auction. And um, I think this is um, possible. Um, they probably reach that. Mm, if they are reaching less than that, it's better for you because you will get more rewards. And um, if I now um, divide the the uh, rewards distributed by the amount of dots, you have come to conclude that you will get about 6.32 dots per uh, Manta tokens per dot staked. And actually they have some special incentives. So you get 10% uh, if you contribute to them um, before, their, um, before their crowd loan starts. And you can already start contributing to them via parallel finance. And if you do that, you will get an additional 5% on your parallel finance bonuses. Um, if you use my link in the description below, I would very much appreciate that. And also you will get uh, another Manta token if you um, use their Manta Pay um, application as soon as it um, is released. And you also will get a special NFT when investing in their crowd loan. So all in all, I think um, you sh the rewards you get for Manta are quite high, even though they only allocate 12% of their token supply to the parachain auction. They have no failure compensation, and I think that's okay for this uh, project because I really think that they will get um, a slot in this auction. Um, if not, then yeah, that would be weird if they will not get it, and very sad to see that. Um, so, but let's look what at what price you can expect. Um, the Manta token to trade. So I evaluate the market cap for Manta at about 1.2 billion, could possibly a bit higher or a bit lower. Um, but um, as the Calamari token is not trading yet, so we cannot evaluate the market cap of the sister project. But as Manta has such a strong use case, I really think that they will also have a big market cap because there's a lot of demand for their tokens. Um, if we look at the reward ratios, you can, in regards to the circulating and the total supply, you'll see mm, that's, uh, well, they're not the best, obviously. They're only 
um, allocating 12% uh, to the crowd um, loan participants. Um, but to conclude, all in all, I think the Manta token will trade at token generation event at uh, in a range from six to fifteen dollars. So six in the worst case, fifteen in the best case scenario, and around ten dollars. I think is a fair value for the project. Which, um, if you take the worst outcome and here the worst token price here, and multiply it with the lowest amount of token you get, that will be $24, which is uh, already more than Alcala will get, uh, al already more um, rewards you will get than for when contributing to Alcala um, in the normal case scenario. And well, um, the maximum you can expect around, around $104 uh, per token if you get the the yeah, expected allocation that we, or I calculated here, and also the token will trade in the most beneficial price range. Um, yeah, but um, further, if we look at the social sentiment, um, we see they have 31,000 um, Twitter followers, which is um, not that much in comparison to the other projects. Their GitHub activity is um, perfect, and the Telegram users are also um, very less. But I have to say, I still gave the project a 9 out of 10, and why did I do that? Because I was listening to their crowdcast, and um, um, yeah, well, I uh, took you know, a little bit of deep dive into their project, and I really have to say the team is really, really good. D um, you, if they, I mean, for real, you you see that they are um, they are in there for the for the good thing. Um, they are really knowledgeable, and um, they try to um, give back as much as they can to the community. So all in all, I will give the project a 9 out of 10 from the social sentiment, just because their team is so great. And yeah. So again, if we are checking the market cap of the lowest uh, price expectation, do we expectation? Um, so we multiply the circulating supply by the uh, lowest price expectation. We'll see that uh, Manta will currently be around uh, around spot 130 of tokens ranked by market cap, and in the with the highest price expectation, they will be at around uh, spot number 82. And I think it is quite possible for them, or it's yeah, it's feasible for them to trade within this range after um, the token um, generation event is there. Um, but remember, the token generation event will probably be in like two to um, four to six months from now, and by then the whole crypto market cap globally will have increased. So, with um, that, um, with that um, market cap, you will not be at spot 130 anymore. Probably a bit lower, but still, this market cap and this one are quite feasible. All right. So now let's conclude the analysis for the Manta network. So the rewards I think you can expect are quite high. They're way better than what I have analyzed for the projects before. And um, even in the worst case scenario, which is this one, you'll still get, get more than for Alcala. And if you take the expected um, scenario with the worst case token price, you will still get more than you do f when contributing to Aster or to Litentry. And in the best case scenario, um, you'll actually get a lot out of your um, DOT um, contributed as one DOT is currently trading at $50. So I'm really quite bullish on the Manta network here. And I will encourage you all to, if you um, invest in, if you want to back their project, um, do that via parallel finance and you will get additional parallel rewards for that. And if you use um, my a referral link in the description, you'll get another 5% on your parallel uh, rewards and also join their crowd loan before it officially starts. So join before the 11th of November. So you like, will get another 10% on your allocation. And well, that was it from me for today. I thank you very much for uh, listening to this. And again, if you find anything, any mistakes here in my calculation, because last time I did a mistake for Aster, I um, said the maximum supply was 70 um, million, 
uh, it is actually 7 billion. This does not change, change anything in the overall reward expectation, but um, it changes the um, expected token amounts and the expected price expectation. So um, all in all, the analysis still holds, but um, remember there was a mistake here. So I um, changed it now, now everything is correct. Um, but um, this is just to point out that you always should do your own research and don't just trust someone on the internet. Um, well, I'm trying to be as thorough here as possible and doing my best, but um, mistakes can always happen and I'll thank you so much for pointing them out to me. All right, so I will say um, see you guys on the next one and good luck with the, with the upcoming auctions.